Hello, everybody. How's it going? Let's see. Live video is starting. We are doing a new setup, so you're now live. Hello. <laughs> we, we are live. We're trying a new setup, guys, so let us know if you can hear us. If we're too loud, if we're too low. Yeah. Okay, if it so breaks you. up. Thank you. Yeah. There's Miss Hanny. We're all together. Look. Yeah. Full regalia for the hunting club. Ready to go hunting. <laughs> Just waiting on, on people to come in. Let okay. us know when you get here so we can um, say hello to you. Yeah, we got three viewers. You see them popping up, but I don't know who they are. So I'm going to get on here on your phone and see what's going on. Uh, let's see. We we're hoping. Hey, Tim. How are you? Oh, the comments come up. Okay. Hey, we can see the comments at the same time that we're doing our live. We're using my laptop, baby, trying to trying that out. They wouldn't. It wouldn't flip sideways on my phone, so we wanted to make sure we could get all of us in the same screen. So. Okay. Oh wow! Look how vibrant I look in oh, your phone. Wow. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> I am like fluorescent orange. She is orange. On you see, we got your uniform on, Tim, with our, with our hunting, for our hunting show today. We're ready to go hunting. I see Christy and Dad, and so it's five others. Hi, five Chris. Others. Dixie's there. Julie, hi, Joel. Dad said, hey, guys. Christy said, hi. I made it. Can you see the comments? I can. All now, right. whether I can read them all. Don't ask me. Dixie said we sound good. Good deal. Good Julie deal. Hello. Okay, guys. Of course, we are doing hunting. If you've seen the description, so this we got the, all of our hunting this gear is, on. Brian decided on hunting last time, and Jetsu on uh, Horn of Plenty. Well, we're going to do Thanksgiving stuff the next Facebook yeah. Live, so we'll incorporate the Horn of Plenty into that, Jetsu. Yeah. Hey, Brian. Yep. Hey. We're doing your hunting. Yep. Yeah, we're here with some hunting things. It was a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. To try to find, you know, some stuff to do. But we are dressed for the part. We are so. dressed for the part. That's 75% of the battle. <laughs> this is whatever brand this is. Mossy Oak. This is pretty good because I'm already sweating. If you, if you want to get out into the wilderness where it's cold. Yeah. Mandy, Mandy will uh, <laughs> attest to that thing being yeah. warm. And look, I mean... It, I didn't know it had this, but this is probably like a face mask, I would probably. say. Yeah, you pull it like, down and it goes. Yeah, like that would be. Oh my gosh, I want to borrow this, Dad. It's pretty awesome. Oh, you can probably put it down like this. Yeah. Oh, it's like turtleneck. Yeah, that's one side to do <laughs> all. <laughs> she's, she's warm. <laughs> I should have had that one on. She should have had this one on. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Um, let's see. Charlene Needs is here. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Charlene. Janet Kay's here. Hey, Janet Kay. Uh, Brian said you will do just fine. Janet Sue's here. Hey, Janet Sue. Thanks for lunch yesterday. We had a good time. Really enjoyed seeing you. All I, right. So we I've been taking all day long to, to text you and make sure you made it, but... My mind was on doing these hunting projects and I cannot get it off of it. I said, every time I thought about picking up the phone, I was like, we're on to the next something or other. Yeah. Hunting I, is hard, not... Brian. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I, I don't envy you all having to get up every morning at the crack of dawn and put on all this garb to go out and not do anything but sit in the woods. And maybe it's like, it's like fishing. Maybe you get a deer. Maybe you don't get a deer. You must have an awful lot of fun because there's a lot of people that do it. Well, yeah. it, it is quite relaxing, I think, to go out with Jason. Just, you know, to be the eyes and the ears. And and it's really nice and relaxing to be with it, nature. And it stuff. would be. But you do have to hey, dress warm. That'd be like, some good video for us yeah. this, this fall. Yeah, I might get out with my camera and try to yeah. get a little something. So. That's the way I'd like to go hunting with, with a camera versus a gun. Now people fuss too much about the cameras more than they do the guns. Or yeah. as much as they do the guns. Uh, Janet Sue said uh, she enjoyed herself. Good deal. She did make it home. 
<laughs> and uh, she said, tell Brian what you have for him our next trip home. Oh, yes. Monday, I spent all day. Janet gave me two bushels of apples. So Monday, I spent all day making applesauce, apple butter, apples, apple juice, apple cider vinegar. I think that's it. But, Brian, when you come in, I'm going to send you some applesauce and some apple butter home with you. Really good. So don't let me forget when you all come in. I would have sent it with Janet, too, but I didn't know she could take it on the plane with her. <coughs> I had to ask first, but she said she could, so I'll awesome. have it ready for you. Awesome. Hey, and if you want a thing of that dandelion jelly, I still got a couple of them left. I'll, put, I'll throw that in for you. Just let and me know. Go around and see if you can t turn the laptop in just a little and try to get rid of that glare. We got the webcam on the laptop going this time, so we're not using the phone. We thought we might be able to see a little better. Stop right there. Okay, that's a little better. Are you going to share my shirt? Yeah. Uh, Brian said sounds great. Good deal. Yeah, so. I got it ready. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so tickled, Brian. I haven't been, I, I've canned applesauce one time in my lifetime. And I don't even know how long ago that was. But this year I have canned lots of stuff. So I'm not, I can't say I'm really great, especially um, pressure canning. But water bath canning, I got down. I can do that. Awesome. So I enjoyed that very well. Well, I'm going to tell you a couple real quick little stories. And then we'll get into the crafts and stuff that we got. First one is, I read in the West Virginia Magazine that was date. I don't even know when it was dated. But my magazines are in the 70s, so you can tell how long ago it was. They said around 1900s, early part of 1900s, the deer population in West Virginia had gotten down to uh, 1,000 deer. So if... Uh, they didn't do something, we wouldn't have any deer. Nobody would have been hunting. But by the time 1978 rolled around, the deer population was up to 150,000. And I'll bet you there's more than that now because you can't go anywhere from here to Oak Hill without seeing deer in every field that we got around here. Yes. Yeah, yeah so, there's a lot. And the mo the mommies had, yeah. like, it, it, well, at the campground, there was a mama with three babies. Yeah. Right there at the edge of the woods. So. And we had several up here on the mountain that had two. So I don't know what it is. And then somebody said one of them had four. That's a lot of babies for deers to be having, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you'd take care of all of them. But that's what, that brings me to one story that I thought of that I wasn't planning on bringing up, but there was about a little deer that they ended up calling Bambi. It was where the mother deer had had triplets, but just completely ignored one of them. I guess the weakest one of the bunch. So that deer come into a family residence here in West Virginia, and although it was still wild, it would come in, they would feed it, make sure it had food and everything. And then when it got old enough, it could go out on its own, but it would still come back in. And she said, she must have had a sweet tooth because every time she was baking cookies, it would show up on the back doorstep. And I know just up the road, one of our neighbors, she had a deer that would come in right in her back foyer and, you know, after an apple or something that she had. I was like, oh my goodness, that would be scary for me for a deer to even be up on my porch. I mean, like, the, or poor Sam wouldn't let that happen. But Yeah. And the other story that I had was about a bear. They called it the One Ear Bear. It had a name, but I don't remember what it was now. But anyway, this farmer was going out, and he had sheep, and he found two of his sheep completely mutilated. So he found, uh, he thought it was a bear, because they had seen a bear in the area. They thought it was a bear. So they went into... Um, town and they got a whole bunch of people together and they went hunting this deer well they finally found this deer and they are this bear and they killed that bear um he was scared to death i mean they had what they was they had him all corralled in shoving him in one direction or the other anyway he ended up being killed 
Well, the farmer was just patting himself on the back. He got in the newspaper. He was doing everything real good. Got up the next morning, went out to check his sheep. Sure enough, one of, that, one of his sheep was completely mutilated. Well, he come in, and his dog come in later, and he was completely covered in the blood, sheep's blood. Now, he said to himself, the bear is dead. So what is killing those sheep? So obviously these people killed this bear that wasn't eating the sheep and didn't really know what it was. It could have been the dog that did it. It could have been another bear that the lady had seen the night that they all went out hunting for that deer. She went out to take her trash out and there was another bear roaming around. So it, long story short, the one-eared bear got killed and he wasn't the guilty part. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. So that, I thought that was a lot like what's happening around the world today is people are jumping to fast conclusions and I'm just as guilty. So maybe we could take a minute and stop think things through before we go in that direction. Well, I think that's the line. It's a good thing to do like a hunter safety course. Yeah. So you can, um, you know, see, uh, because if you're not a hunter, you're not paying attention to those hunting times yeah like the seasons jason himself said you know he was out in the woods one day um and it was gun season and he seen something brown walking far off and he got his scope up and his gun on it and it's a man yeah. walking in tan coveralls walking his dog through the woods so you know jason was upset that he had his gun on you know, something he thought was a deer, and it totally was not a deer. So yeah, you have to be you do very, have to be careful. Don't just shoot. I need to get some orange material and make Sam a big dog Dana and put it on him because he is the coloration of a deer, and he does like to chase the deer off our property. So you know, when it comes to hunting season, he might be in one of those that comes up a casualty of the deer hunters world. Mm -hmm. You know, Nobody would do that on purpose to be no, mean, no. but accidents do happen. So yeah, everybody and there's be been careful. hunting accidents um, back to Bible days. Yeah, because you know it was, um, you know, back in the Bible and stuff is, uh, you know, hunting accidents. So that's a definitely a thing. Yeah, and I think you can't, as a hunter, you can't go out and assume there's only other hunters and wildlife in the woods, that's it. Yeah, because people still walk the trails now. Yeah. If you're a trail walker, be very mindful of the hunting seasons because you don't want to put yourself into that type of a position to where you have they have to worry about you or you have to worry about them. Find someplace else to walk. Go down to a well, state park, which is, it, you can't hunt on state yeah. park properties anyway. So. Well, I remember um, when me and Kelly were... Probably 10, you know, somewhere around in there. Either she was 10 or I was 10, whichever. But we were up here in the woods, and we had done it many times before, walking around where Ellen's trailer used to be and back through there. And, and you know, we were kind of just messing around, but where we, we couldn't hear you hollering because of the leaves and stuff, and you didn't know where we were. And you knew it was hunting season. Yeah. But we had no idea. It was just another day to us. Yeah. So... It's just, you know, the, the hunters have to be trained yeah. to actually, you know, get your scope on something and make sure you know what you're shooting at. So all you young ones that don't have a hunting license, if you're watching us, that's why you have to take the hunter safety course before you can get your first hunting license. It's always a good idea to just be prepared in any situation. And now we'll get off of our soapbox and get into our crafts. <laughs> yeah, look at Hanny's shirt. Hold on, Hanny. It says, Dad's Little Doe, and it has a deer head, and it has, like, flowers. She can't really get close enough to the thing, but it does have flowers wrapped around the meat. My Grandma egg. made that for her today. Yeah, that's really So cute. that she could have something to wear hunting-related, because all of our stuff is too big for more, Little Miss Amy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but, let me see um, it, what I missed. Uh, Brian says it is more fun to watch wildlife than hunting. I do agree with that. And oh, just yeah. being in nature and stuff. I'd I love really to like watch that. them uh, out playing in the yard. Well, they used to play in the yard all the time. 
Sam, they don't even come in the yard now. <laughs> right. He says, uh-uh, that's my place. Mom says, I can't go off the property. You can't come on the property. So uh, Janet said yes on the uh, dandelion jelly. Okay, okay. I will die. Will I add that in? Brian said you can send some deer down there because they don't see them very often. They probably have more houses than, than we do. Down there and there. What about alligators, there. Brian? Do you see alligators <laughs> down there? Don't shoot one for me. But don't right. get eaten by one either. People say they're good. Uh, well, evidently, I mean, I would, I'll tell, I'll tell her hand of this. She said that people say alligator is good. It's a good note for thought that if I ever get hungry and an alligator comes to West Virginia, <laughs> I can kill him and eat him. But right. until he makes it all the way to West Virginia, he can stay alive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dad also said orange uh, toboggan and gloves would help. It would help you if you're out in the woods. Yeah. If you do take a walk in the woods, you know, anywhere near. Dude, just, just do the safety precautions. Yeah. I know avid walkers like to walk every day. Yeah. And they're used to walking in the same direction all the time, which is wonderful. I wish I, I, wish I had that drive to get up and walk because I could really use the walking. Me too. But maybe one day. Brian said there's hundreds of them and they're everywhere, the alligators. And you want me to come down to a wedding? <laughs> Brian! <laughs> You'll keep them shoot away, right? You'll shoot them. You'll tell them, go play, go play. Kathy's coming down. <laughs> right. Okay. I think we're caught up on the comments. Okay, next we're going to do another set of coasters. This one says, you probably can't read it, but it says, live to hunt. Hunt to live. Oh, it does egg. Oh, it does it right. It went, yeah. Good job. How does it do letters right, but it doesn't do us right? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. But that's pretty cool. Yeah. And this one says, no bragging till you're dragging. I'm assuming Mandy come up, up with the, the things I put on there. So I'm assuming that that means... Uh, you can't tell somebody that you got something until you actually got it. <laughs> I yes, can't imagine. I know people do it all the time. But to kill a deer that weighs probably between 80 to 150 pounds anyway. And take it out of the woods. But, yeah. hey. That's why our four wheels. I'm looking be. forward to some deer meat. <laughs> that one says, rise and shine, it's hunting time. Well, if, there, if anybody's like Jason, he gets up. Like 4.30 in the morning. He's got to be in the woods, have picked his spot before daybreak. Yeah. So, he, it's cold. You can see your breath. Like, it's just, in the moonlight, mostly. That is that. That is the reason I won't go hunting. Yeah. It's because I am not getting out in the cold. <laughs> I would freeze. And I, I'm sure that having a little fire for me to stay warm probably wouldn't cut bring the deer in right right that one says i love when my life wife lets me go hunting yes i, I thought those were pretty cute so i decided i had several of them so i decided to put those on a uh, coaster set and you could do um you know a different set uh there was several girl oh. kind of girl hunter directed oh, yeah, seen stuff those. yeah you know, like i know i shoot like a girl try to keep up and stuff you could actually have a set of you know for, for ladies for, yeah. yeah yeah especially if you were in the hunting and yeah. i tried my hand at camo i know it don't look like camo guys but i tried it does it looks good well, if you uh, have been around with the channel for a while, you know we she's done this. Uh, yeah, I've done trucks of yeah, every color, every color, and every size. season. Yeah. People even buy me trucks. Sean bought me one, two. Actually, she got me that um, cookie jar right there. Yeah. So, all right, I got some comments. Okay. Let me figure out where we are here. Um. Oh, Brian said not to mention the boas everywhere. 
Brian, are you sure you want me to come see you? You're not talking like you want me down there. Janet Sue says she's getting married right on the water, but no gators are invited. So you'll be fine. They'll crash it, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> just in, just simply because I'm down there. Not because anybody else is there, but because I'm there and don't lay alligators, I'll be able to see one. Me and, me and Timmy went down and seen Jenny one time when she was in Jacksonville, and they were asleep, so we got up walking around their little carplex, and we went up to where the laundromat was at, and it was up there, and then there was a little lake stuff. Well, we were just walking past there, looking over the fence, come to a big old sign that says, Stay away. Maybe an alligator. We left. Uh. <laughs> we went right back to her little apartment and stayed there. Uh, Brian laughy emoji. And Mink said, uh, yes, please, no alligators. No alligators. But Christy, Dixie, and Janet Sue said they're very cute. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Maybe the, maybe the truck, too. But it all came in about that time. So, Yes, they're very cute. I love the coasters. I, did. I mean, we do... Several different coasts. We've done several different coasts. Coasters are the easiest thing in the world to change up and yeah. change your whole outlook in your room. Yeah. If you just pick your coasters, they're easy to store. You just simply set them in a box and put them away. When it comes to a new season, put your new coasters out. Everybody thinks you decorate. Right. Between that and a tear tray, the easiest things in the world to decorate with. You don't have to have the million and one things that I got in my house to decorate with, but you can still be decorated. <laughs> That's it. What truck? That thing's so camoed you can hardly see it. Oh, <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. It looks good. I like it. <laughs> well, I'll add it to my truck collection. <laughs> These are Mandy, so I'm going to let her tell you about them. Okay. This is just a sign you can put up in your in your house. <laughs> Uh, hunting season. I've seen a lot of camo uh, bed comforters and curtains and stuff so you could actually decorate, you know, like a bedroom or a bathroom Oops. in hunting. Uh, yes, I do have a, it's a two-sided sign, so after hunting season you can go right into your Santa stuff, but uh, yeah, bathrooms, I've seen a lot of bathroom stuff with the camo. I personally like the, the white look and camo. Uh, I think that looks really good, like when a bed spread and stuff. Um, this is so true. That's why I did it. We interrupt this marriage to bring you deer season. Um, Jason is a, an avid hunter when, when season comes in, and it's right in the middle. It's, uh, you got so it. I did not realize how much time he that how much goes into how much prep and you know everything goes into getting ready uh, they do uh, ha they have hunting houses and you got to go get them ready and then they put pick their spot in the woods and they go put that house there like three weeks prior to that way the deer get used to some foreign object being in the woods and being able to come around it they go walk the woods and look for like deer scrapes and stuff to see if there's a lot of activity in that area so they do a lot of prep work you know getting uh, getting ready for it and my last one is just some keychains mm. oh not my last one but I did make some keychains that one we use the no bragging till your dragon um, this one is just a deer head I do not like this camera in the middle. Here you go. It's, they're all the same, just different things on it. And that one says Deer Whisperer. I may make that on a bigger sign to put on Jason's hunting house. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> okay, so um, oh, the last one I got, I think, is I did have a, I took one of Jason's a set of his horns. Um, I just took a piece of poplar. I don't know if you guys uh, have ever kind of cleared a piece of poplar or not. Typically, it has nice purples and greens and stuff that run through it. But once you clear coat it, 
it's only brown and brown and brown. So, I don't know where all the collar goes, but it's still cute. And then I just, for now, because he would like to dip this in some of that spray paint stuff and kind of give it a, a design. So, for now, I've just like hot glued dipping. it. Yeah, hydro dipping. For, for now, I've just hot glued it so he can take it back off there when he's ready to do that. But he had a whole collection, so I was like, I'm going to use this little little uh, set for tonight's live. So he can take that back off and do something with that if he wants to. So I think Mom's got a few more. Then we went for the ladies. You know, we don't... We can't be outdone just because there's men. Right. So Mandy wanted a bag. Yes. Which we just got these bags at um, Michael's. Yeah. And I said all day long, reading this final, <laughs> so that we could do deer season with a camera. So that you, you if you don't like to shoot with a gun... You can always take a camera and take some wonderful videos then. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like to do. And the second one is I know I hunt like a, a girl. Try to keep up. Right. I thought that was so cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so cute. these ended up being the ones for the ladies. And, last but not least, that's not it, where's the other one? Where's Jason's? Oh, he needs to go find Jason's shirt. We picked him a, a saying that we thought he would like. <laughs> we put on Jason's shirt. What does it say? I like big butts and I can not. Lie. Big bucks. <laughs> it's big bucks. So when he's out there hunting, he can have that shirt on. Yeah, or just wear it around. I mean, yeah. I think it's it's funny. All the guys wear them, you know, around Walmart or whatever. Uh, Bink said, um, "I love that some girl power in there." So, yeah. Yeah. Well, there are girls that go yeah. hunting, mm -hmm. and then there's people like Mandy that just likes to go to be with the person that's hunting. Yeah, she's tougher than her mommy. <laughs> I like, my favorite time is not that early morning. Yeah. Um, I like, because sometimes Jason will come out of the woods to get lunch or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like it if we can go camping. I'm in the camper, and I'm like, so yeah, you know, and he comes in for lunch. And then uh, we have a little hunting house. We have a little propane heater in there, and he's been sitting in it some of the morning, so it's already warm. I just got to get from the camper to the hunting house. And then I can sit there, and there's, like, windows all around. But sometimes you're sitting there, and you think a bear's coming because it just sounds so loud, and it ends up being, like, a chipmunk or a squirrel or something. <laughs> <laughs> or those little birds that hop in the leaves trying to find things, flipping leaves. And I'm like, something's coming. <laughs> <laughs> but it isn't anything. But it, it, it it's still a wonderful experience to get out there. <laughs> so and I said, OMG, LOL. Dixie said that's funny, and Dad said nice shirt. And we have Margaret here with us. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Margaret. Just come in. So, well, yeah. I'm glad you all come to visit us today. That yeah. was our our hunting thing. Yeah. Thank you for the uh, um, suggestion. It was interesting. It's always interesting to try to do something new and different. So, and, and Brian. I'm going to say this, Mandy probably shoot me, with the exception of the skulls, if you've seen anything that we showcased this evening that you would like to have for yourself, yeah. that would be a gift from us for yeah. your suggestion about the hunting. Yeah. So just let me know if there's any one of them, and I'll have them ready to go with your applesauce and your apple butter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, any of them. I mean, yeah. because we can always make them again. I mean, we know how to make them, yeah. so... Anything you want. Uncle yeah, Brian. just let me know. Yeah. You or Jan Sue one, just let me know which of them that you would like to have. Yeah. And if and now next time we're going to be doing Thanksgiving, but uh, over the course of the next year, we'll do the same thing with having you all to suggest stuff. And the yeah. more people that suggest something, then, you know, we'll 
mm-hmm. let you pick out from the things that we make. Because quite yeah. frankly, I'm getting a lot of stuff we made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I would love to share with you guys if you see anything yeah. on there that that you like, just let me know and I'll put it, you know, put it up for what you, Brian. That, and, um, trail mix? Oh, we forgot. I forgot one. I made trail mix. Nobody can go out hunting if they don't get starving. You're right. Yeah. So if you, you can put that in a little bag and put it in, make a ton of noise while you're out there. But it's just got um. Almonds and M and M's and raisins and uh, let me try it out. Pistachios, I think. Yeah. But you can make a mixture of anything that you like, and it would just be something good for you to eat real quick. Do you like pistachios? They were all right. I do not like pistachios. Well, those have a smoky barbecue flavor to them too, so they're. Now I did make some mm. pumpkin seeds. Um, some of them were ranch flavored. Some of them were pizza flavored. The pizza flavor I liked. I'll let you try them, Annie. The pizza flavor I liked, but I can't eat the the uh, seeds. I can't chew them up. My I never was able to. I couldn't eat an apple peeling for the same reason, and that's been years and years. So I just get the goods off of them, and uh, then I have to. Let the seeds go. What flavor is this big pizza? Like, yeah, I have different kinds of uh, M and M's in there. M and M's was five dollars for a bag of M, ten ounce bag of M and M's. Yeah, it's crazy. I was like, holy moly! Mm-hmm. Good thing I gave up sweets a long time ago. And Janet says she'll have Uncle Brian rewatch and decide what he wants. Okay, yeah, yeah, Brian, do that and just let me know before you come in in, in uh, December, and I'll have it ready for you. Mm-hmm. By that time, Janet. Should We'll maybe have one of her Horn of Plenty things that she likes because she made suggestion last time. Right. And we are taking the suggestion. We're just bumping it up until uh, next week, next Facebook Live because that's what we were going to do anyway was Thanksgiving things. So mm-hmm. we'll make sure we put a couple of Horn of Plenty crafts. Now that is a little interesting, but we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And when, you, when Brian said hunting, every one of us jumped on that. Was yeah. Some, holy cow, yeah. And then I thought, what the heck are we going to do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hanny made a balloon. Oh, yeah, she made a set of antlers on the balloon. Three-handed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she just drew them on. Um, you guys should um, just, you know, because it's interesting, you should go to your states uh, like DNR with the hunting regulations and see what all you can hunt. We, me and Mandy you can hunt everything. At, yeah, me and Mandy was just looking at it, and there isn't a whole lot of anything you can't hunt. Right. They're seasonal, of course, but mm-hmm. my stars. I didn't realize yeah. we had that many different type of animals in West Virginia, much less that there's so many of them that they put them on the list that you can mm-hmm. hunt for them. And I didn't know this until a couple of years ago that if you, um, you know, you're a landowner and you're just hunting on your own land, you don't have to get the license, but you do, in West Virginia, I don't know any other state, but um, you still have to follow all the regulations like checking in and all this kind of stuff. You can only get your limit of deer and all that, but uh, you, if you get, an, uh, uh, I guess you can get a some kind of extra yeah. deer permit or something, but, but, you know, a lot of times that's enough. Just, you know, what they allow you to get and get it on your own land and... I think that's really good. You don't have to fool with all I'm that. hoping that, that if Tim gets a chance to go hunting, that he gets us a deer because Mandy starves me to death with all her venison she's got in her freezer mm-hmm. up there. <laughs> she gave me two jars of canned deer meat last year, and I put that in the crock pot with some green beans, some homemade green beans, and some potatoes. And I'm telling you what's the truth, that was the best dinner ever. I was yeah, really we good. Like, we like our deer meat. It's a nice lean meat. Yeah. So, and you cook it like beef. You know, you whatever recipe you put beef in or hamburger or anything, you can substitute for deer. And, and it's it's really good and healthier, I think. And Mandy is one of those that is for the hunting and foraging. She said that's where we started and that's where we need to go back to. So mm-hmm. she's living what she's telling. Mm-hmm. It isn't just, you know, us telling stuff. She's yeah. she's living it. I'm just running along for the ride. Well, there's so much to learn. Mm-hmm. So much to, you know, 
kind of get back. All to my it. stars, it'll take us twenty years. I'll be long gone, but she'll have the information she needs to go. Yeah, he will. There with. Henny will have it all down pat. Yeah, we need to get together and do a, a herb. Yeah. Or a herbalist. Um, I have several videos that haven't been put together yet, but over the winter, you guys may see some. Uh, you know, yeah, get you stuff. prepared for next spring for when they come up. Yeah, and it's really easy because you can download a, a app for plants and make sure you're getting the right ones. And then it's you take what you need. You know, when yeah. you you can make your pinchers and ointments and medicine and, medicine and, and, and yeah, and a lot of them are a lot healthier than taking the medicines that yeah. you take today. So yeah. We're not great at it yet, but there are people out there on the internet that are. Yeah, so. a lot to learn. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, guys. Okay, uh, let's see. Bing said my phone's dying and I'm not near a charger. If I log off randomly, that's why. And Jimmy just came in. Jimmy Layton. So. Hey, Jim. Glad right. to see you. Yes, glad you came in. Uh, it is. We've been in here 34 minutes, so. Yeah, that's usually about what we try to keep you all entertained with but i yeah. thank you all for stopping in every yeah. one of you and just let me know brian yeah he's and we'll have it ready for you yep and uh, uncle brian said good job ladies so. thank you Thanks, very much guys. thank you See we'll talk later. to you next wednesday for west virginia wednesday bye bye awesome that one went off pretty good and i am out of that jacket i'm even warming it over there